Hey, what's up guys, Mike Red Fox. In this video, I'm gonna work through a fix. If you're having issues getting more than nine GPUs mining on your ASRock H110 Pro BTC Plus mining motherboard. So this is that rig that I built in a video just a little bit ago. It's 126600 XTs. And though I've had multiple rigs now with 12 GPUs on this motherboard and haven't had issues, this one is giving me problems. So I'm going to walk you through exactly what's happening. So right now the rig is powered on, but it will not boot. It won't even get to the BIOS screen. What I have to do is come over here, power off the ATX power supply connected to the motherboard, disconnect three of the GPUs to give me nine, taking down from 12 to nine, then I can power it up and then it will boot without issue. I'll show you as we switch over here, this will come up and boot without issue. There we go. I'm gonna head into the BIOS and I'm gonna show you what's happening here just in case you're having this issue on your motherboard trying to get above nine GPUs on there. So if we go over to the boot screen, what's happening is the CSM compatibility support module, although I disable it, it will re-enable itself if the rig gets turned off. And watch what happens here. So if I disable this, I'm gonna save changes and exit. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come over here, power off the ATX power supply. I'm gonna get those GPUs connected again onto the PCIe slot. So we're gonna go again from nine up to 12. And what you'll see is that this will boot now into Hive OS without an issue. So turning the ATX power supply back on and we're gonna get some signal here in a second and you'll see the familiar Hive OS boot up screen come on. There it is. All right, so what happens though, and the problem that I'm running into is that if this rig crashes, or I think also if I unplug it from power completely, CSM gets re-enabled and I cannot boot again until I do this process over. So um, what I found is a beta version, unreleased version of a BIOS 1.64 beta for this motherboard, never publicly released. I found it um, on some forums and some YouTube videos that I'll link down in the description below that apparently will solve this issue and have CSM disabled by default. So what I wanna do now is update this BIOS for this motherboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this off again, power it back up, smash the delete key and get into the BIOS. And what I do is I have a USB drive in there with the BIOS update on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and flash this. So uh, we're in here right now and I'm gonna head over and find uh, here we go, UFI update utility. So we're gonna do the instant flash here. There it is, immediately picked up 1.64 as the updated BIOS. So I'm gonna head and hit update on that. Hit yes. Switch over here so you guys can see what I'm doing. Sorry, I forgot to switch cameras. So this is updating the BIOS right now to 1.64 for this mining motherboard. So we'll let that finish. All right, so it just finished and it just rebooted and you can see we're going right into Hive OS without issue. I just wanna test one thing before I end this video. And what I'm gonna do is completely remove all power from this rig and make sure with all 12 GPUs on it that it still boots. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. So turn it off, ATX power supply, turning off, server power supply, and I'm unplugging ATX from power, server power supply from power, and I'm gonna hit the power button on the motherboard just to make sure that I drain any residual power that might be in there. Leave all 12 GPUs connected. I'm gonna get the server power supply back in first. Okay, that is in. And then I'm gonna plug in this ATX power supply, 
Turn on server power supply. ATX power supply is on. And we're going to check out and make sure that everything comes up okay here. Turn the motherboard on since all my BIOS settings were reset to default. And I'm going to switch over back to the camera here. And we're going to make sure that we get a... Yeah, there we are, right in Hive OS. So completely fix the issue. Just in case you ever run into this, kind of a weird one. But just in case you ever run into this, this is exactly what you have to do in order to fix it. So there's Hive OS booting in right now. So that's it, guys. I was working through this, found a solution, wanted to do it live with you, just in case anybody down the road searches a video on YouTube for an Azrock H110 Pro BTC Plus that cannot get past nine GPUs on its motherboard. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content on GPU modding. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.